to our virtual camp meeting 2021. Our theme is I will go. God is calling you and me to go. So let us go. Hi friends. Yes, I will go to all the world. Together we'll go to all the world. Yes, we will all go to the world. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank the Lord for bringing us this far. This evening, I want to welcome each and every one within the Pretoria region and all around the world as we go into what, what we have called the Children or Youth Corner. I want to welcome all the children out there. I want to welcome all the children in the Pretoria region and the youth at the same time because what we are going to listen to this, uh, this evening um, is going to help us to become better as we grow in the kingdom of God. Before we get into this session, I am David Livingston and Sivo. Let us pray together. Kind and most gracious Father in heaven, Lord, we want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to listen to you speak to us as children and youth. We are praying and pleading with you that open our inner ears so that at the end of the day, we can be blessed for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, can show me the way, Lord, I want to get home, pilgrim and wanderer, far from home and lost. For long the time I've been astray, now I want to get home. Show me the show way, show me the way, Holy Spirit, show me the way, I want to get home. Show me the way to my father. I long to be there, free and not tempted. I want to be where I belong. Show me the way. Show me the way. Holy Spirit, show me the way. I want to get on. Show me the way to my father. I long to be there. Free at last, I'm tired, I want to be where I belong. Tired and disgusted I am, darkness all around me. Now and low, oh bless and see, my soul thirsts for thy guidance. Shine on my Without you I cannot go, my only hope is your presence, Lord. Take my hand and lead me safely to my own. Show me the way, show me the way, Holy Spirit, show me the way, I want to get up, show me the way to my Father. I long to be there, free at last, I'm tired, I want to be where I belong. Show me the way, show me the way, Holy Spirit, show me the way, I want to 
friends good day all this is uncle clever once again and this is the kids corner health nugget time and i'm with my friend here rumbi zaika seke who is going to help us demonstrate how to wash our hands so there are things that we are going to use here that we have so i'll start demonstrating myself with gloves and then we also have got paint here right so we want to show how to wash hands properly because normally when we kids go and wash our hands, we wash them, but we don't wash them crystal clean, right? So I want to demonstrate. So I'll start by demonstrating with my gloves. And then after that, Rumbizai will do it with the water and the soap. So I, I will take the gloves. And then we'll take the paint. And then first we'll apply it on top of, of the hand. So as you can see, we'll do this. That is what, how you are supposed to do it when you are washing your hands. So I have done that on my left hand first. But you realize that as I have done this, this part of the hand is not yet done. 
So I will do the other hand as well. Then I will smear the paint, as you can see. But you realize that there are other parts of the hand that have not yet been painted. So you realize that in between, it has not yet been painted. So I will go into the inner part of the hand. And then I will smear the paint. I will smear the paint clearly. And then the inner part is now fine. I will do that on the other hand. And then I will smear the paint on the hand. But you realize that there are still parts that have not yet been touched with the paint. So we will go to the in-between of the hands. And then I will put the paint. I will apply the paint, apply the paint, apply the paint, and do the same on the other hand. And then begin to, to smear the paint to make sure that these parts of the hand have enough paint. This is how we clean our hands. And then when I'm done with this, when I'm done with this, I'll come in between the hand and then I'll also do the same. I will do the same on the other hand and do the same on the other hand. And then after that, I will come here and then I will smear the paint. I will smear the paint and then I will smear on the other part as well to just make sure that the whole, all of my hands have been painted. This shows that the hand sh should, be, should be clean. So as I have demonstrated, I will also ask my little sister here to demonstrate with the soap and then with the water. So this is a chance. There is the soap. Can you get the soap? Yes, you can start washing. So let's do it inside. Okay, you will demonstrate as I was showing you. Okay, you can take your soap and put, put your hands. You can start by, put your hands. Okay, you can take the soap and take and demonstrate. Remember I said on top of the hand first, on top of the hand, on top first, and then you do the same on the other part of the hand. Put enough soap, put enough soap. Okay, take the soap again and then you come inside. You smear the soap and then you go to the other side. The other hand, yes. And then after that, you go in between. And then you clean, you clean, you clean, you clean. And then after that, you come here. When you are doing this, you are doing it because of your nails, because there is also dirt in your nails. So you continue doing this until they are clean. Then you go to the other hand. You do the same, you do the same. Do the same, and then when you are done, you come here. Come here, you clean, you clean, and then you go to the other side. And then you clean, you clean, you clean, you clean. And then when you are done, then you, you rinse. So you can take your soap and then put it there. And then you, you begin to rinse. You begin to rinse. You rinse, you make sure all the soap comes off, you make sure all the soap comes off, make sure all the soap comes off, and then after you are done, after you are done, is all the soap off? I think it is. So now you take your towel and then you, you wipe off the water, you wipe off the water, this is basically the demonstration of how we, we clean our hands and make sure all the gems are, are off. Thank you so much, this is the end of our cleaning of hands. I will go.
Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. As we go on missions for God to preach and teach all the boys and girls about our coming king, let us perfect our art. There are many ways to teach them to remember God's word. Join us today for our Bible puzzle and share the teams on blue team versus red team. You may start. go I will go and where you stay I will stay your people will be my people and your God my God where you go I will go where you stay I will stay your people will be my people and your God my God for this round is the red team. Preach the, pre preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, as hot with great patience and instructions, prove rebuke. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Escort with great patience and instructions. Reprove, rebuke. Now we'll do the final round to see our final winner. We may start.
Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And our winners for this challenge will be the blue team. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. Thank you. And the overall winner is the blue team with two points to one. Yeah. Where could these children be? Who's going to tell the boys and girls the Bible story? Let me look for them. Hey, children, where are you? It's story time. It's story, story time. It's story, story time. When we come to pump and show, it's story, story time. It's the best time of all, the best time of all. When we come to pump and show, it's story, story time. Bye, Auntie Julie. Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to tell you a story about the daughters of Zillophed. It's a story in the Bible from the book of Numbers, chapter 27, verses 1 to 11. The book of Numbers is in the Old Testament. We start with Genesis, then Exodus, then Leviticus, and then comes Numbers. Okay, boys and girls, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing us all here today. Please be with everyone that's listening today. May you please help us and protect us and help us to understand the story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our camp theme is I Will Go. Hey, Puppet One. Nikki, for someone to say I will go, they need courage and faith that whatever they are going for will come out right. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, for God has not given to us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That is very true, my friend. In the book of Numbers, we are told of five sisters. Their father's name was Zillow Fed. Their names were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Mika, and Tizar. So the story took place just before the children of Israel entered the promised land of Canaan. Remember, the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt for a very, very, very long time. 430 long years before Moses went to deliver them so that they could go to Canaan, the promised land. Before they entered Canaan, the Israelites were allocated land where they could live with their families. So the land was divided before they entered Canaan. There were, four, there were 12 tribes in Israel and 11 tribes got land. We will tell you some other day what the other tribe got in place of land. Everyone was excited about the land they were going to get except five sisters the daughters of Zelophed. They were sad because they were not going to get any land allocated to them. Their father had died and during that time, the people believed that God had said only boys could inherit land. The girl children could not inherit anything. So the five sisters, Mala, Nua, Hogla, Mika, and Tizra, came up with the plan to go to Moses and the priest and all the elders in Israel. So it was, not, it was not an easy thing to do. It must have been very, very scary. Don't you think so, Drake? Yes. But they still decided to go. Each of them said, 
I will go. Before they went, they gathered all the facts and information they needed to go and present to Moses and the priest and all the elders of the land. I am sure the five sisters prayed to God for courage, strength, and asked God to help them to say all the right words. When the children got to Moses, they told him that they were very sad because they were not going to inherit any land simply because they were girls and the father had died. They reminded Moses that their father had been a good man and he had not participated in the famous rebellion by Korah. It was therefore not fair that the name of the father was just left out because he had no sons. They told him that they also wanted a share of the land. Wow, these girls had so much courage. At least they did not cry and moan about the unfair, the, about how unfair the inheritance rule were. They each decided that they would go to present their complaint to Moses. Who were they to try and change the law that already existed? That decision by each of them to say, I will go, made a big difference to their to the whole nation of Israel and to the generations after them. So Drake, what happened after they presented their case to Moses and the priest and the elders? Well, Moses and the priest and the elders heard the girl's presentation. I guess they were surprised at the request, but guess what Moses said in his heart? I will go and God had, had asked him what we should do about this unusual request. It's great that Moses was a humble man who had a listening ear. He did not have the no, he did not have the I know it all attitude and spoke to God already and said only male children inherit the attitude. The only male children inherit the land attitude. Yes, that is what was already there. But Moses said, I will go to God with all, the, with all your requests and hear what he has to say about it. He wanted to hear from God all the time. Isn't that amazing, Drake? So Moses went before God with the case of the daughters of Zilophed. And guess what? Boys and girls, God said the daughters of Zilophed were correct. They were supposed to inherit land to form their allocation in their tribe, the tribe of Manasseh. The Almighty God came through for the girls because they stood up and each of them said, I will go. Moses also heard from God because he said, I will go and ask God about your request. Wow, what a beautiful story. I am sure everyone was surprised that God honored the request of the daughters of Zilophed. I will go from each of the daughters of Zilophed, and I will go from Moses' changed history. Boys and girls, do not be afraid to go. Let us pray. Well, boys and girls, that marks the end of our story time today. Drake, do you think the boys and girls would like to come again for another story? They most definitely want to hear another story, Nikki. Goodbye, Goodbye boys, boys and girls. We, we love, love you all. Bye. Are you making any memories? As you go along your way, are you planting seeds of love that will return someday? Are you taking time to listen? Are you taking time to be with the ones who love you? Are you making memories? The days have a way of slipping into years and 
joy has a way of turning into tears. A little children have a way of growing up so fast. Precious times of life have a way that does not last. Is your life in any way an honor to the Lord? Do you thank him for your blessings? Do you take time to read his word? Are you storing up your treasures for all eternity? Are you really living? Are you making memories? The days have a way of slow.